Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do a quick reading. Um, so I was prompted to do this reading about, there's so much energy surrounding the Aquarius in regards to someone from the past coming back. Now this could be a romantic partner, it could be friends, family, just dealings from the past. So I think the Aquarius knows who the significant other whether it's romantic or friend, who this person is. Um, but the Aquarius doesn't know exactly what they want or where they stand. So this reading is to gain just a bit of clarity in regards to how the significant other views you and then how you view the situation with them, okay? So we have five cards for the both of you. And then we have... A card at the bottom of the deck okay so this significant person or persons at the bottom of the deck we have the ten of cups so how this person is viewing you or viewing any situation yeah between you and 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 them is one that brings a lot of happiness and contentment the highest level of happiness. This could be a masculine energy. This could be someone who has a, a large rep, reputation who, or who is concerned about reputation, who is concerned about long-term goals and the fulfillment of a career. This could be someone well off in their career. Um, but overall, they feel as if you make them very happy or you they could have the highest level of happiness with you uh, and they could achieve all of those things um, long-term goals and career goals and having a good uh, reputation maybe in the community in the neighborhood uh, with other people um, this is how that person views you the overall energy so we have the Eight of Wands, we have the Two of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, the Sun, and the Strength card. So right off the bat, this person um, This person um, is definitely, they have two options in their in their life or two or more, but they have options. Two that they really focused on and that they're weighing up. This person may already be in a relationship or married and it may have not been the best decision. This talks about the love affair, the business contract or deal that's just not not feasible for you know that particular person who's entering it, who's concerned, who we are concerned about and that would be your significant other. Someone chose another way over you now if this is family or friend they may have chosen to go with another group of people about how they felt about you maybe they even kind of ostracized you or kind of you know blackballed you in a, in a sense but now they're weighing up that that decision that they made and they've come back to it they, they are evaluating it on a level of really evaluating their own habits their daily routine um, money and material possessions something about this person like This person may want to apologize to you. They may want to come to you and tell you something about the
the relationship, the, the business, the something that they're in. Something with shared resources, um, assets, investments, loans, you know, large purchases, the merging of. This, this person is either wanting to tell you about the trouble that's in a particular relationship how it's not going well. They may even want to give you a gift or apologize to you or do something substantial. This person, uh, they feel like if they do something substantial for you or, or in regards to you, that this will open the door to maybe newness with you. What they see with you is, you know, happiness and contentment. The Sun card says that in the present, a new relationship or friendship could, can bring you a lot of happiness and contentment. Something that you long wish for is or, or will come to fruition. They're trying to stay strong in their convictions, hoping that whatever they're doing right now, whatever plan that they're trying to mastermind, that it will land them where they want to be, with whom they want to be. This is like a, a re-examining or about, honestly, this looks like somebody says, you know, things in my life are not going right. I may have chosen someone over you or chosen a group of people over you. I want to apologize. I want to reconnect. I want to, they're having the strength to walk back toward you, to communicate with you about the trouble between the two of you or the trouble that they're in. They can't seem to get away from the thought of coming back to you. This person may want marriage and to travel with you later in life. Like they want to come out of one situation and come into another with you. Like all of them. The merging of life that they did with somebody else, you know, moving in together and sharing resources and you know, um, all the things you, that you do if you're married or, or living together or whatnot. Um, they, it seems like they want to do this with you. This is a person relinquishing like the, the, the ego too. It's like they, they're coming back tamed. Okay, so how you feel about this person or this situation is the Two of Swords. So, you feel like you don't have all the information in regards to even entertaining anything with them. And that's why you... That's why they feel like they have to come to you firstly with laying it out on the table, being honest or at least forthcoming because you're already on the fence or the defense about even communicating with them. It's like you, you you say, I already know how you are. I know your habits. I know your routine. I know what you do. You know, you you have been flip-flop in and out. I can't trust the connection. Some of you have an inner knowing, too, that this person is coming back. And it, it, it just takes you to a place of mental frustration almost like a computer overload where the computer just 
you know catches on fire it's like your brain does that when you start to think about this person coming back and disturbing maybe your your peaceful state you so you'd rather just stay in acting as if with this blindfold that you don't know what's really going on and making no real decision let's see we have the, what I knew it the high priestess you guys know something the page of pentacles the justice card the seven of pentacles the king of wands I am so for some of you you know that somebody wants to come and talk to you they want to apologize to you they want to reconnect with you they want to talk to you they They feel like they have to, the, the apple cart is upset and they need to rectify the situation by way of, of course, spoken word and um, look what's under this, I'm sorry, I know that's so distracting, but the two of swords and then the tower, that's exactly how you feel about this person coming back sudden change destruction disaster upheaval this person is going to disturb you it's how you feel let's let's see how you feel about them is that you know they want to come back and apologize you're not accepting anything less than a wholehearted apology anyway they feel as if, and you feel as if too, that they have a debt with you. You know, whether it could be an actual debt, like they owe you money, or um, it's like they 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 feel as if they need to repay the debt for all of the bad, for all of the things that were between you two. Um, they feel as if um, things are just not right and you feel the same way too Let's see sometimes you look back at this connection Yes, sir. Sometimes you look back at this connection and you're like, you, you say like, wow, we spent so much time together. We spent so, there was so much energy, time and effort put into this and it, it, it just didn't manifest. Like you had to cut it out. You had to prune. It wasn't getting you to the Ten of Pentacles. You also know, this is how you feel about them. You feel like they're looking back at you, at what the situation was, and they're wanting, they're looking at the relationship, and they're wanting to come back and reestablish. They are after their heart's desire. They, they have a lot of passion and desire for you. They're also a bit intuitive. Uh, they want to grow this connection. You have a lot of passion with this person, though. You could also be wondering, like, what exactly do they want from you? You know, is it just to reignite the passion, okay? In other words, have sex with you? Or is it do they want anything foundational anything what, that you guys can build upon and i think that's what really puts you in that mental place so i just don't have time for this but you also know that they're coming back some of you know by way of dream and premonition and heavenly signs and just can feel feel their energy also 
let's see let's um see what the energy is that was between you that is um keeping you apart the five of clubs in reverse so the playing cards deck have different meanings this talks about new love and new marriage it's in reverse so back to this your person may have been or is with someone and it, it very well could be new in a sense it's not going well the the fives govern you know love affairs and childish behaviors and drama um, also Gov governs traditionalism and regimen and rule and reign and what this says is that there is none with the five of clubs in reverse it's none of that in their situation but there was none of that between the two of you like there was no real relationship so, the king of wands again upright king of wands here king of clubs be done with a fire sign or someone with fire in their chart he he says this is the king his affirmation is I you know I want or I desire this this person is always after the, the heart's desire if they want something they go after it they can't organize the people this is normally an entrepreneur this is normally a committed man so back to what we saw for your partner like this is someone who's in commitment yeah, wow but it may be ending the ten of swords upright so th there may have been upheaval betrayal feeling backstabbed just a complete ending here this is what's going on between you two and maybe this is why this you guys are still separated somebody's going through this either you or your partner or the both of you then the queen of wands in reverse okay so definitely your person could be married or in a long-standing relationship there's somebody who is a grade a you know what starts with the B um, she is all about self she is demanding she is possessive she is she can be materialistic she could also be keeping options open Your partner may be in something that is just not going well. Or this could be you, but this is the energy between the two of you. Okay? Get one more card here. And then we're going to see. Yeah. Four. Four clubs in reverse. So, the bottom of the deck, the five of hearts. Four clubs in reverse. Upright, it talks about, it's like the tower card, upright. It talks about, in reverse, someone's trying to avoid a disaster, avoid an unforeseen negative event. Someone is trying to keep the peace amongst a situation that, is, that has no peace. So, your partner definitely lots of change in their dynamic also is hesitating before making a decision knowing that a decision needs to be made but it's too stuck on what has already happened what has already transpired not really thinking about um making a decision and moving forward the partner may need support or supportive words only if the air or the door of communication is open. Don't listen to this reading Aquarius and say, oh, they need loving words. Let me send them a text message. 
it may not be time it may they may not be ready to hear exactly from you maybe they need loving words from someone else okay um or they need encouragement from someone else or they just need encouragement so if you're not talking to them if you guys are in separation for whatever reason um just pray for them pray, pray that they find a supportive friend or a supportive outlet uh, pray that their heart changes to, you know in regards to all of this going on let's get a card for your partner and then one for you what we're going to see is how what it is your partner wants to tell you they want to talk to you eight of wands two of pentacles and the page of pentacles it's like wanting to talk about a situation that may be up in the air that is troublesome about what does your partner would say what I am doing with or yeah what what I'm going to do for myself the page of pentacles talks about my and you know I myself um, you know about the stability being elsewhere the page is always about the page of pentacles is about moving that pentacle communicating about movement of of establishing you know themselves somewhere else so your partner may want to tell you that let's see okay there's one butterfly oracle card in regards to what the partner wants to tell the Aquarius or not partner but significant other because you some of you may be in separation they might want to tell you about their finances okay What should the Aquarius be focused on in regards to moving forward with this situation? What's the best advice for the Aquarius? With dealing with this significant other. Two came out. Wow. Decisions and family changes. You're gonna have to make a decision about a, a, a big change. Um, it looks like your partner wants to talk to you about your finances. It, this could be good, this could be not so good. I don't know. The sun is here. Um, they may want you to make a decision in regards to them, in regards to some change. Um, family changes constitute so many different things. A home move, um, moving in together, someone moving out, someone getting a divorce, getting married. I mean, having a baby, bringing home a pet. I mean, family changes. We could just, we'd be here all night talking about family changes. Um, let's see what your partner wants to offer you. We'll go over to the website and talk about what the partner wants to offer you. So let's go over to the website and talk about this interesting, 
Interesting, interesting. Hmm. Okay. All right, so the link is below for the extended reading. Know that it's always $2.25 to get the extended reading. Um, just click that link, purchase, especially if you feel like this resonates with you thus far. Um, I know it won't resonate with everyone, but for, for those who it does resonate with, um, thank you for tuning in. Let me get one butter uh, angel answers for the Aquarius within the next few months so you've got a time alright Aquarius let's talk about this on the other side alright all links are below um, if you feel like you need your own personal reading take advantage of that with the coupon code below also at the website thank you Aquarius and remember to stay in prayer bye